Hey guys, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures and I thought it would be fun to bring you guys a video just doing a little bit of uh, vlogging. So I'm going to put probably together like three days worth of just me running my errands and doing things and I, you know, I thought it'd be a fun video. So right now I'm on my way to the storage unit and then um, I'm headed to the movies. I'm going to meet my mom and my grandma. Uh, we're going to go see that movie, The Shack. It just came out, so uh, we'll go check that out. And um, it's always important to spend some time with family, right? I really needed to go out to my antique booth today, but um, when my mom asked me if I wanted to go with them, I decided it was probably uh, more important to spend some time with them today. So um, I'm going to do that. Okay, real quick, I want to show you guys what I got inside my storage unit. So I just received best offer for this vintage Sheltonware <clears throat> ice bucket. And there is the label. And um, I, the uh, description said uh, mid-century uh, vintage ice bucket. So I had it up for $39.99 and I got a best offer for $25. So I accepted that, but um, there's also free shipping on there. So I don't know what I was thinking doing free shipping on that item uh, because it's probably going to cost um, a lot to ship that. But um, lesson learned, I'm just so done with free shipping, you guys. I don't know about you. I mean, I don't mind doing it on small items like jewelry, lightweight jewelry, um, but the bigger items, uh, the clothing, the shoes, uh, you know, off items like this, decor, I'm not going to do free shipping anymore. No, no, no. Okay, so I had a little bit of time to kill. So I popped in Goodwill, of course, and I picked up a few things, so I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, I picked up three of these. They are called Cuddle Kids. And this one here is Clarice the Cow. See how it has a little bitty baby's face? Aren't they cute? And um, it still has the tag on it. I paid $2.99. I spent $16.99 in there all together this morning, um, but I got a lot of stuff. And I'm hoping to list these for $24.99 uh, uh, plus some um, shipping. Next one I got, this one is a cute little T-Rex. Look at this, this little bitty, um, what do you call these things? Like horns, I'm like drawing a blank. But um, so cute. Again, this one is new with the tags. Okay, $2.99. And the last one is a ladybug. Aren't they cute? They're so adorable. Um, and like I said, I'm hoping to ask um, about $25 plus some shipping for each one. And then, of course, uh, I had to pick this up. Oh, poo, I just noticed it's broke. See, that's what you get for not paying attention, Tanya. Anyway, really cute fish paperweight. I paid $1.99 for it. Um, Gosh, I can't believe I didn't notice that. Hello, how can you not notice that? But uh, that's okay. Maybe if I display it a certain way, you won't even be able to tell. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that. And then um, I took geology in college. And so I've always had a love for rocks and fossils and stuff like that. And I picked up these little triangles. There's three of them. And they were 99 cents each. Now I did see this. This one's kind of chipped at the top, but it's not too bad. Um, but I don't know what kind of stone this is. They're really pretty. Oh, that sun's in the way. But um, anyway, I thought these would look really pretty in my bathroom. It's kind of a beachy theme. Uh, so I thought those would look pretty. And then the last thing I picked up is I am going to do a giveaway. <laughs> so I thought this was so funny. It's a Christmas pickle. So um, I paid 99 cents for this, but let me read you the tradition real quick because I've never heard of this. Um, okay, it says um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, parents wait until Christmas Eve to hide a small pickle ornament on the Christmas tree, tucking it out of sight among the branches. On Christmas morning, the first family member to spot the pickle was rewarded with a special blessing for the coming year and received the first present from under the tree. So um, this is the deal with the giveaway if you want this Christmas uh, ornament pickle. So tell me um, in the comments down below what your favorite kind of pickle is. Um, mine are those little bitty midgy ones and I think they're made in Texas. I'll have to, um, maybe I'll insert a picture and show you guys which kind of like. 
But um, yeah, tell me what your favorite pickle is and um, I'll use a random name gener generator and I will send you a uh, Christmas ornament pickle. <laughs> okay, so off to the movies. Okay, so who do we have here? Well, I'm Paula, and I'm this beautiful Tanya's mother. <laughs> and this is my beautiful mother, and her name is Shirley, so it's Tanya's grandmother. Grandma Shirley! Yay! So I'm excited about spending the day with my girls. Look how pretty it is. Gorgeous, such a blessing. Okay, gonna pop in one of my favorite stores real quick. It's sugar, yay! Hey guys, it's now Thursday and I'm about to go into Goodwill real quick and stop by the post office and then I'm going to head out to the antique booth to pick up my check. I'm probably not uh, bringing any new inventory today because I'm running a 30% off sale. They're having March Madness right now and um, so almost all of the uh, dealers are running a sale and I, I don't really like to bring up new uh, inventory whenever um, a sale is going on. So um, let's go in Goodwill. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to show you guys my um, new shirt that I made on merch. Check it out. Talk about thrifting. Let us do it. So if you guys want to get a shirt like this, I will put the link down in the description box below. Good morning. Good, how are you? Okay guys, real quick, I'm gonna show you everything I got inside that Goodwill. I spent uh, $10.50. And let's see what I got. I got this DVD here, Aggie's The True Story of Texas A&M. Um, this cost $1.99 and it's going from about $59.99 new. However, the sales rank was a little high for the DVD category. It's in the 200,000s. But that's okay, I'm going to um, post this or list this on Amazon and eBay also. And the next thing I got to sell is this really cute member Mickey Mouse Club by Walt Disney Productions. And it was 99 cents. And um, I think it's a uh, true vintage. It says made in Japan there on the bottom. I don't know what that is, but um, that'll, prob that'll probably clean off. So um, these are only going for about $9.99 on eBay, but um, you know, $0.99 cents and the $10 isn't too bad. And what else? I got this to sell also. It is a um, men's Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirt. It's 100% silk and it's got surfboards all over it. The size is extra, extra large, so the larger sizes do really well. And this cost, let me see what this cost. I always want to say $5.99, but I always forget the prices have gone up. Um, $6.49 for the men's short sleeve shirts now. So I'm probably going to list this for about um, $34.99 plus um, first class shipping. I also like to offer priority mail shipping too in case uh, the customer wants to get it a little bit faster. Okay, I think I am going to, oh, oh and I got this. <clears throat> I'm going to keep these. They're brand new sealed Wilton. Um, there's 15 bags and they're like little bitty uh, treat bags, uh, snack bags for uh, Halloween. So I thought that might be fun. Put some um, popcorn in or some pretzels for Halloween time for the kids' friends. So I'll put that in my Halloween box at home. So I'm probably going to head out to the antique booth now. Uh, but there is a Goodwill, a new Goodwill out that way, so I will probably stop by there first 
you know I will. <laughs> and so I'll show you guys if I pick up any there, anything there too. Hey guys, okay, I am going to wrap up this video, but first of all, I want to show you everything I bought at It's Sugar. So I love that store, and the reason why I love that store is because they, they are one of the only places, do you mean to say hi? Here. Hello, hello, reseller friends. Um, they are one of the only stores that sell sour candy. I mean, you know, lots of stores probably sell sour candy, but I mean really, really sour. And in particular, this brand right here is called Toxic Waste. Look, here comes Coco. She thinks I have food. <laughs> so um, I got these sour smog balls. It says it's crunchy candy with a sour chewy center. So I'm going to open it up and uh, try one of these real quick. And the one thing that I really like the best, let's see, oops, was um, they had, and it was by Toxic Waste, and it was sour chewing gum, but they don't make them anymore. Or if they do make them, the store was out. Okay, so there's just these little bitty balls. Okay, it must be something you have to stop for a while. And get to the center of this. Sorry, I keep getting notifications. Um, all right, here's the center. Oh, yeah, that's really sour. Really, really sour. Okay, the next thing are these whew, uh, cry baby tears. Now, as you can tell, I've already opened these, I couldn't resist. <laughs> So these are some of my favorites. I got two boxes of these, but look, they are in the shape of a teardrop. And they're just kind of like, um, kind of like a sweet tart consistency, but you just suck them when they're really sour. And they're one of my favorites. Okay, and then I got this. This is only a dollar. It's like, oh my gosh, I don't know, like three feet long. It's huge, it's like one of those sour, uh, not the straws, but I forget what they call these. I'm drawing a blank. Sour power. Anyway, I love these things a little too much. And let me show you these. No, these are the these are Warheads Extreme Sours. It says that these are just um, I guess these are like oh they're just hard candies. Savor oh savor the sweet and survive the sour. <laughs> So, um, I guess I'll try one. What the heck? Let me try one real quick. You can't eat these, Coco and Skippy. Okay, so we have a watermelon extreme sour. I feel like I'm doing a munch pack unboxing. Hmm. Okay. Those might be the most sour thing I've ever tried. Okay, last item is this Toxic Waste Hazardously Sour Candy. Isn't that a cute little container? Cute packaging. But um, let's see what these are. Toxic Waste Hazardly Sour Candies. Okay, I'm going to check them out real quick. And this is what they look like. A little circle. Mmm. Mmm. Those are super, super duper sour. So I think these are pretty much the same thing, just a different, uh, yeah, this is Warheads and this is uh, Toxic Waste. But I think they're the same thing, just different um, companies. Okay, that's all I got, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog slash ride along. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and share it with your friends. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.